All right, so we are going to be unboxing the Mokin. This is a docking station, a USB Type-C docking station. And let's check it out. All right, so let's look at the box really quick before we go in here. So it's going to have a uh, LED light indicator, two USB-Cs. It can connect to a MacBook, but it can also connect to anything. That's what it says on Amazon. It basically can connect to anything with USB Type-C. Uh, USB-A 3.1, an SD and micro SD card reader, uh, headphone jack, USB 3.0, and RG45 gigabit Ethernet. That's pretty awesome. USB-A 2.0, three HDMI ports. I'm only gonna need two for me personally. Uh, so it has HDMI 1 and HDMI 2, two display ports, USB-C and USB-C uh, power data, power plus data, which supports 100 watts in. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to really help me out with my uh, work from home situation that I have as long as it works well. But let's get it unboxed and kind of check the unit out itself, right? So we have the unit itself is what it looks like here. So it looks like it's really well packaged in this like foam insert here. I like the size of this. It is not that big, which is really awesome. Um, this is gonna fit pretty nicely on my desk. We have some rubber feet here, which is gonna look really nice. Um, here is the three USB 3.0 ports. We have the headphone port headphone and microphone port, uh, micro SD, and SD card reader. I really like this because my laptop doesn't have this. Then we have USB 3.0 and then the host, which, so this is going to be uh, whatever, I'm assuming this is the port that you plug into your computer. Uh, then we have another USB 2.0, a USB type C, we have the power, and then we have ethernet so I really like this so far, um, but let's see what else is in the box. We're gonna put that to the side for now. All right, so we have the instruction manual and then we have this USB-C to USB-C cable. This is a pretty nice looking cable too with uh, how it is. But the one thing I am kind of disappointed in with most of these um, that I was seeing on Amazon is that they don't come with power supplies. So you, you're going to have to rely on one of two things, either the power supply that your laptop comes with, or you're going to have to buy a separate power supply. So this is just going to be interesting to see. Uh, but so far, I really like the simplicity of this unit. I like um, the low profile and that it has two HDMI ports, which is really what I was wanting because I'm going to have a dual screen setup. So we're going to get this set up and kind of show you guys what that is later. But for now, upon initial, uh, you know, initial impressions, I really like this. All right. So I can confirm that this uh, Mokin USB or yeah, USB-C uh, laptop is working perfectly we have my hp here plugged in to this and we have at least one monitor plugged in right now i haven't tested like any of this other stuff yet um but it's all working perfectly which is exactly what i'm doing i'm probably going to end up putting a velcro strip like one of these um on the bottom i just i'm not sure if i want to put anything like that on the top of my uh desk yet so i'm gonna have to think about that but everything's working perfect i'll probably plug in a another like usb type c usb uh port here just because you know i usually use a lot more than just three ports um just for some different stuff but we'll have to wait and see i don't want to overwhelm this just yet but i am waiting on my second monitor 
but there you guys go and then just another tip really quick uh, the best cable management you could probably ever do is to just buy a big roll of velcro um, double-sided velcro and you don't have to worry about anything this is cheaper than almost any other cable management system <laughs> so there you guys go the mookin laptop docking station I, so far this is working great for me um yeah and i love it i love that i can have my laptop and move it um, i did get a second power supply so that i can leave my laptop's power supply just in in my backpack whenever i want to go somewhere i don't have to worry about carrying two power supplies or like forgetting to unplug my power supply that was the whole point of of getting a docking station was so that i don't have to keep unplugging and plugging in a bunch of different cables i want to have a station at home and then when i get to work i can just plug that in too and i don't have to worry about bringing it my power supply like everywhere as well so i like it all right so i did end up putting a second usb here this you know i turned one port in to four so this is going to give me even more usb 3.0 ports i need to work on the cable man just a little bit but i wanted to let you guys know that the sd card reader i don't know about the micro sd card reader but the lower one you, it, this is you're going to have to insert your sd cards upside down do not insert them this way uh, so that is just something to note and i've been using this for a few hours now it is a little warm it is not hot at all but it is a little warm and i'm just going to assume it that is normal but all of this is it, what feels like aluminum so it does feel like the whole thing is a big heat sink so i'm not going to be worried about it overheating but just something to take note of